uh, 4A, let's let's drop okay. down and, and, and look at 4A Division One, and I, I think now we're, we're getting into, the, we're, we're going to see some really good games here, starting with Centennial and, and South Oak Cliff on a late Thursday night, kicking off at, they say, 9 o'clock, and we know it's not going to be 9 o'clock, for the second game of a doubleheader at, at Cowboy Stadium. Um, what, what are your thoughts on this game? I think I think Sox going to go pretty far. Uh, Emmett Jones was part of that Lincoln staff that made, made the state title, lost on that blocked kick against Kilgore. That's the great YouTube uh, or the right. great radio audio. He was at Skyline. He was offensive coordinator at Skyline when they went pretty far. Uh, you know, th- th- that's more than a coincidence that he's been part of the team, the DISD teams that have made a run. I think he's he's got a, a good mentality and he's got a ton of talent. Uh, you know, you get to talking about their quarterback, Kenneth Arthur the second, uh, you know, Fonzel Davis as a receiver. Uh, they've got another all really tall uh, receiver. And then they got Jordan Stevenson, who's one of the top running backs in the, in the yeah, state. Over nine yards a carry. And uh, then they've got, you know, you look on their defense, they've got a sophomore defensive end that's a star. Uh, they're they're really good there, and and they don't they don't hurt themselves. They you know because what happens to a lot of DISD teams is they're short on depth, and then where that takes effect is you know they'll miss an extra point, they'll lose that little field position battle on you know the two or three possessions, and well then it's a six point game, and they the other team scored a touchdown. So those little those things that end up making the difference. I think South Oak Cliff is not going to be hurt by those. Well, and here, here I'm going to go the other way. I'm, I'm going to pick Centennial because I think that's a team that, that's just got some magic right now. They they have learned over the last few years how to win. They're the one Frisco team that's been able to do that. And looking at South Oak Cliff's schedule, they, they play such a weak schedule. I mean, they, they've not played hardly any, any quality teams this year. They're another team that most of their, over 50% of their – passes have gone for 21 yards or more so Weldon Swan over Centennial I think what he's looking at this week is look if we we don't give up the big plays if we don't do that and we make them take small chunks down the field I don't I think he'll take his defense in that situation I think Centennial's offense is due for a good game because they've struggled a little bit the last few weeks and they haven't been far off and they're, and they're still scoring but they're not scoring like they were to start the year I think they get back to that. I think they beat South Oak Cliff this week. All right, I'll stick with the Golden Bears. All right. Uh, Wiley and Mansfield Summit, two teams that I look at, wildly inconsistent, particularly Wiley. It's win one, lose one. You think they're the Cowboys. Um, Summit, you know, Summit started out, lost four out of five. They put together a lot of wins, David, but they don't win by – they. In the games that they've won this year, they win by an average of four points a game. So they don't beat anybody by a lot. They're scraping by. Wiley's really inconsistent. What are your thoughts on this game? Well, Wiley is is a really good team. They've sort of recovered from the Wiley East opening. Uh, you know, people that don't necessarily follow it, you go they the the impact that opening a, a, a neighboring school has on a program. I mean, just think of of your ninth grade class. If you take half of it and go away, how good you're going to be at anything if you just take half of it away. Sure. So Wiley's getting back up there where they were. Uh, Mansfield Summit is one of those teams that we're going to hang around, we're going to hang around, and then they have that philosophy. I don't think those teams, uh, at some point you have to be a really good team that can put teams away, because at this point of the year, everybody's a team of destiny. You know, they all think they're going to go, and every Friday and Saturday, half of them get axed as team of destinies, and so I don't put a lot of stock in that whole team of destiny thing. I, I totally agree. And another game uh, that will be at Cowboy Stadium, the early game on Thursday night, Highland Park and Kimball. I saw Highland Park take apart the Colony on, on Friday night, and I think they do the same to Kimball. I, I think they do the same to there. And if you're Highland Park, they, they play good teams. But when you, when you watch the formation, what Randy Allen does on offense – 
the the no huddle offense, the the just rotating receivers in, just getting a kid like Cole Feigl and putting him in the backfield, and he's just he's small but he's fearless. I mean, you couldn't have been any smaller than Preston Miller, right. and people would look at his numbers and think he he's a unbelievable running back and Preston's really good but he was mainly fast mm-hmm. uh, and that's what that's what Cole is they they spread you out they do these quick things they get they get quarterbacks and convince them to run they get matchups that they want they, yeah. they create matchups that they want and they're they, they, they if you walk out on before the game they, they're they're not that impressive they're not that accurate of passers they're they're pretty fast but it is over. They overwhelm the other team with what they do, and and then it's just, you know, the other team's behind by 28 points in the middle of the third quarter, and going, oh well, we have, we've only scored 28 points once right. this year. We're not winning this game. Right. And, and you know, and I think as I look at Highland Park this year, I think they've got a chance to play for a while. And I think the difference between this year's teams and maybe the last three or four years is Bergen's ability. He can throw it, but he's such a threat running it. And, yeah. and and that offensive line, you say you, you got the defense spread out. Those guys, they've done a great job of creating creases for him, and, and, and they run a lot of quarterback draws and put the ball in his hands a lot. And, and that makes their offense unpredictable if you're a defense. So I, I like Highland Park to, to play for a while. 